painting is part of the May the 4th Be With You collaboration hosted by the lovely It's Art by Donna M. Of course, I have on my Star Wars pants to get ready for this, and hopefully you saw Angela Bliss art before me. Up next comes JB Poor Art, so head to her channel next. And today I'm trying to make this planet here, which is Kaishik, I think it's called. It's the planet of the Wookiees, like Chewbacca. It's a really lush planet full of trees and water, and so we're going to go ahead and try and make this planet. So originally I planned to do fluid art, but it turned into more of a mixed media art, so I'm using this craft panel from the dollar store as I thought that would hold up better than a canvas to the pressure. So I started by painting the background black and then I traced out my planet and this is where um, I didn't really think this through because I then put on this flexible spackling which is just what I had. I think most people use drywall compound but I didn't really have that available so I just kind of made some rough land shapes here hoping that it would cause um, like more land looking shapes to pop out of the pour later on. And so I, that's what I did for the first part. So May the 4th is a unofficial kind of Star Wars holiday where everybody celebrates the Star Wars movies and all of the shows that came after. So this is the second year that I was invited to be part of this collaboration. So if you missed last year's May the 4th collab, um, if you go back in my videos, you can see what I made. I made another different planet then and... Um, I just seem to be stuck on the planets for this particular series, probably because I'm not very good at drawing characters, so I decided to try out another planet this year. And so here is my spackling all done, and I was really stupid. I didn't think this through. Um, I can't really pour on top of this because it just really didn't work out, um, so I decided to try and pour the fluid art paint on the top, and that doesn't really stick very well either because it's really diluted. And I don't know why I thought that would work, so I had to have a plan B because this just wasn't really working out. So I just did a quick base coat with the diluted one, and then I'll add in some other complementary colors for the water after this. So after the base coat, I went ahead and mixed some straight paint with the um, diluted base coat. And I thought it was the same color, but apparently it was Viridian by Master's Touch, and so it's a little bit darker but that kind of worked out because it gave a little bit more water variation and the camera doesn't really show how blue this is. Um, my camera struggles with blue colors coming out correctly, but I'm just going to add on some layers so it looks more like there's kind of tropical blue waters around each of the land masses, kind of like you would see. Um, this planet looks a lot like Earth, so I don't know if Wookiees look a lot like humans, but some of them maybe. So if you're watching this after the event, go back in check out everybody's videos. There's lots of talented artists and not just fluid art this time. It's a lot of different types of art so you'll, there should be something for everyone and I'll put everybody's links in the description below and if you can go back and check that out I bet you'll find something you really like. So after I let the base coat dry and the water was all dry I decided to add the greens and browns of the land and so I chose to use this as the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Peridot and it kind of has a bit of a gold tinge to it. And again, this is kind of diluted down, so it's going to take a lot of coats. So I'm going to speed this up a lot. But I didn't really know where the original bottle was to use it undiluted. So I went ahead and used the diluted version. And I'll just build up a bunch of coats. And I also have a leaf green mixture. And then also Joe's Prime Art um, Browns. And so... I'll just keep layering these back and forth and adding a little bit of the turquoise around the, the different land masses as well until I have what looks like a great planet.
So here I'm adding some stars to the background. I already tried to put the, um, this is eye candy pigment and ghost glimmers and different colors I already had mixed up. But I put it on straight and it was a little bit too much so I watered it down with some black this time. So that hopefully I'll get just a little bit of sparkle from the stars but not like overwhelming. You might see a little bit of the old sparkles on the background. But I'll try and give you a look at the stars in the end so you can see how the ghost glitters did. So the inspiration picture of this planet also had some kind of clouds on the poles and then um, some sort of clouds around the middle. And I didn't really like how the clouds were starting to cover up all my land that I worked really hard on. So I ended up just leaving a little bit of cloudiness at the, the poles. And so we'll just say that there's some global warming on this planet as well after all the wars with the galaxy. And then there's a lot less land mass, so they've had a little bit of global warming there too. So uh, there's more ocean than there is land mass compared to the original photo. And that's just all galaxy global warming. I believe the Death Star rays from the Death Star really just heat up the planet a lot and it got rid of a lot of those clouds and it made a lot more of the ice melt so that there's more water. So I'm pretty sure that that's a legitimate reason why my planet looks a little different than the original photo. Here's my finished planet. I'm going to try and get a little bit of the stars on the side. I don't know if it's going to show up well on camera because of the wood grain from the panel. But yeah, I really like my planet and I think I might want to make another planet in the future. Um, maybe I could have smoothed out the, the joint compound a little bit, but I, th I think it looks pretty neat. Chewbacca said he approves of his, the depiction of his home planet, so I think I'm all good. 